Hello everyone, this is Mr. Farabaugh, and today I'd like to talk about what is chemistry and why is it important. Now when many people think of chemistry, they might be getting images of explosions and fire or mad scientists, and while this might make chemistry seem exciting, it also might seem intimidating. People might be afraid that chemistry is too difficult to understand because it has all these complicated formulas and equations and so many facts to memorize and problems to solve. Well, the bottom line is that yes, chemistry can be a challenging subject, but it's also a lot of fun and very rewarding. So I hope that by the end of this video you'll be inspired to do your best and to learn chemistry because it really is a very exciting subject. Let's begin with the definition of chemistry. Now chemistry can be defined as the science of the composition, structure, properties, and reactions of matter. So what exactly does that mean? Well, let's take a look at a very familiar substance, water, and talk about the composition, structure, properties, and reactions of water. The composition of water can be described as 11% hydrogen and 89% oxygen. The structure of water can be described as H2O, and there are different ways of modeling the H2O molecule. The properties of water can be described in terms of things such as boiling point and melting point. So ice melts at 0 degrees Celsius, or 32 degrees Fahrenheit, and water boils at 100 degrees Celsius, or 212 Fahrenheit. Some reactions of water include electrolysis, where electricity is used to split water into the elements, hydrogen and oxygen. Another reaction of water involves potassium metal, and when it's added to water, something amazing happens. The potassium reacts so violently to produce hydrogen gas, and so much heat is evolved that the hydrogen actually catches on fire the moment the potassium hits the water. Well, now that we've seen some examples of chemistry, let's take a look at Examples of chemistry in our everyday lives. Chemistry is truly found everywhere. If we think about chemicals, chemicals are found in our toothpaste, shampoo, medicines, they're in our clothes, all of the materials that are used to make our clothes as well as add color. Chemistry is certainly found in food and beverages. It's also found in polymers such as plastics. It's found in guitars. It's found in race cars, gasoline, sporting equipment, hot air balloons. You can find chemistry everywhere. Crayons, paint, smartphones, and even in our DNA. So examples of chemicals and chemical reactions are all around us. If we study chemistry, we can certainly learn more about the world around us. Now many people might be wondering, if they've never had chemistry before, is chemistry a hard subject to learn? And I guess the true answer is that yes, it can be a very challenging, difficult subject. But I think usually what makes chemistry hard is the fact that people are intimidated and they don't put any effort and they don't really review and study their materials. So what I'd like to do to help you have a better, more successful year in chemistry and not be intimidated by the challenges, I'd like to give you some tips for being successful this year in chemistry. The first tip is to be organized. Make sure that when you come to class you have all of your notes, everything is organized in a notebook, you have paper and pencils and calculator, and that when the bell rings you are ready to learn. During class make sure that you pay attention and take good notes, be an active learner, ask lots of questions if you get confused, make sure that you stay on top of the material because it is going to move pretty quickly, so review your notes every day, there's definitely some resources you can find on the internet, and I'll be posting more uh, chemistry tutorial videos for you to practice. You might find that you can make flashcards to help you review. Definitely practice solving problems by doing your homework every day. And definitely you want to come and see me for extra help when you get confused. Well, this concludes this video. I hope that you have a very successful year in chemistry. Thanks for watching.